Christina now has uh, COVID. She is now positive. And it just breaks my heart. It is the one thing I was hoping wouldn't happen, and now it has. Now, what does that mean in another state like New York? Is this the new reality? Let's get straight talk. We have the governor of New York, Andrew Cuomo. Good to see you, big brother. Good to see you, little brother. You good for a reality check? I want to try and nail some of down some of these things that are going on. Yeah, let's start with the reality check, but let's start with uh, our own reality, okay? Yeah, your appearance uh, suggests you ha didn't have the best day. You wanna, your buttons are undone, your shirt is a little tattered and wrinkled. <laughs> Uh, how are you doing? How's it going over there? Wasn't, gr it wasn't a great day, huh? First of all, that's a cheap shot. Uh, and you know what? It wasn't. Yeah, it I was going to save this. Not uh, great, till, but it looks later. better. Thank you. I'll, ta I'll take anything better uh, right now. I've had my own struggles. They're common. And now we have another common aspect of this that, as you know well, and you've been telling me all day, families all across the state and the country uh, are experiencing. It's very rare for a family to be one and done. Um, Christina now has uh, COVID. She is now positive. And it just breaks my heart. It is the one thing I was hoping wouldn't happen, and now it has. Yeah, well, look, it's something we, uh, something we talked about, right, uh, when this first started. It's very hard for a person to quarantine in a home and other people not to get infected. That's why we talked about uh, people who quarantine in hotels. They quarantine in a hotel room. The food for 14 days, the food that comes in, they don't even take the plates out for 14 days. I mean, you want to talk about intense quarantine, right? But to do it in a home where a person's bringing you dishes, bringing you food, uh, even if they're wearing a mask and gloves, you know, that virus can live uh, on some sur surfaces up to two days. So in some ways, this was inevitable. Uh, luckily, it was Christina, not one of the kids. Uh, now, this is what families are dealing with, right? The, the point of you communicating this, rather than just taking a couple of weeks off, is you're communicating to Americans what this is like. And by the way, this is what it's like. One person gets the virus, other people in the home get the virus. You now have a mother and a father with the virus. You have three kids that you have to take care of. This gets very complicated very fast. So there is a reality to this. Uh, the good news is, uh, look, to the extent you think maybe Christine is going to blame you for this, there's a lot of other yep. things, as we know, she can blame you for. So this is going to be number 17 on the list. That's uh, true. So I wouldn't worry about that. And you're going to, going to be getting better soon, right? Because you have to be getting to the tail end of this thing. So you'll be up and you'll be strong. Uh, and look, for the kids, uh, I don't, I, when all is said and done, I don't think this is a bad experience for them to go through. You want to talk about growing up a little bit and seeing reality a little bit? Uh, Bella will step up. So it's, it's all going to be fine. I, I know it makes a bad situation worse, but it's all going to be fine at the end.